everybody. Today in math class, we looked at how we can use substitution to evaluate addition and subtraction expressions. So let's take a look at an example. Jenna and Allie worked together at a piano factory. They both were hired on January 3, but Jenna was hired in 2005 and Allie was hired in 2009. Fill in the table below to summarize the two workers' experience totals. So in if we take a look at years experience and we start with Allie, um, Allie was hired in 2009. So in 2010, Allie would have one year experience. Jenna was hired in 2005. So in 2010, Jenna would have five years experience. So as this, our years go up one, Allie's gonna have one year, two years experiences, three, four, five years of experience. When we take a look at Jenna's, Jenna has been working four years longer. So if we have Allie at two years of experience, we have Jenna at six years of experience. Seven, eight, nine. If both workers continue at the piano factory, when Allie has A years of experience on the job, how many more years will Jenna ha er, have on the job? Well, when we compare Allie's to Jenna's, what I would do here is I would look at this and say, if this is A, how do I find Jenna's? Well, each and every single time, hers is four more. And so my pattern, if I know that Allie's is A, Jenna's is going to be A plus four. So with an expression, Jenna's will always be Allie's amount of years plus four more years. So if both workers continue at the piano factory, when Allie has 20 years of experience on the job, how many years of experience will Jenna have on the job? Well, A plus four, when I use my substitution, A is 20 plus four is Jenna will have 24 years on the job. And that's how we use a chart to help us with substituting in values in an expression. I hope this helps make a difference today.